What's up, what's up? Hello everyone. In the video today, we will then try to use the Comfy UI API inside the Unreal Engine. We will then see what is the quality, what is the outcome of the combination between the two very, very powerful tools. One is the generative AI and another is the real-time game engine, which is really, really famous right now on the market. So let's jump right in. Okay, this is the scene that I create ahead of time to work with the Unreal Engine and the Comfy UI workflow. And then uh, this is the very simple and very basic scene. Uh, the goal, let's talk about the goal a little bit. The goal for this workflow is aim to minimize, aim to reduce the time consuming that's used to create a visualization for the scene. All of the furniture element I have in here is was created by the AI using the triple. I try to push in and I try to make it faster as fast as possible for this scene. So I just only create the uh, bare shell, the whole interior, the furniture I create by the AI. To be able to use the Comfy UI API inside the Unreal Engine editor, you will then need the Comfy Texture plugin, which was created by the guy named that the Alexander Zhuganov on the GitHub. Uh, you just uh, load it down and then uh, build the solution. Uh, this uh, project uh, already including the uh, plugin, so it's up on running uh, after you get the uh, build successfully. It is worth to mentioning that this is just the plugin on the Unreal Engine side, so you will then need the Comfy UI already installed in your computer and already full functionality on your computer to run this workflow. Okay, here are our scene inside the Unreal Engine editor. I just add in some tree plan making it look lost and something like the um, in the middle of the uh, tropical jungle. So using the, all of the tropical plan and tree and something like that and add in the lighting uh, for it to ready to run with the Comfy UI workflow. The Comfy Texture plugin is used to enable the Unreal Engine to communicate with the uh, Comfy UI via the web sockets. So uh, making sure that you will then have the Comfy UI run on your old computer to run this workflow. And uh, also I'm making the adjustment on the um, Comfy UI workflow. Uh, try to improve the quality of the outcome of this workflow and I will then um, that is on the description so feel free to load it down and run it if they are have uh, some way that it can twist in the outcome furthermore please let me know okay everything already ready to up on running here we have uh, the positive and negative prompt so just leave uh, the uh, negative with uh, something uh, like the cartoon does or something like that because in here i just want to make a clean view so something like that and then uh, for the positive input the uh, prompt for it and then we ready to go this will take a while to run this workflow as background and this workflow is really really heavy making sure that you have uh, the good graphic cards model to run this workflow this plugin the comfy texture plugin is used the masters use the approach that the uh, perspective projector that has captured from the camera after that, it will send the rays to paint all over the whole image, the whole frame that we have uh, in the camera. And then it will then help to create the, the feel like of the fully the 3D environment. As you can see in here, just like the real projector, with the past is not have the ray is uh, captured within the camera frame. This will then don't have uh, the pixel paint over, it don't have uh, the material, it don't have uh, the texture. So uh, this is the, our current limitation right now. Uh, we just only have uh, the one angle. So uh, it will then uh, don't paint over the part, it don't see. It don't paint over the part, it don't have uh, the, the capture within the frame. I think um, for the future, it will then have uh, the improve because right now the guy uh, has developed this plugin uh, on the way to develop for the multi-view and by then uh, hopefully that we will have uh, the fully the entire 3d scene has the uh, paint over has the capture and that's it for the video today see you in the next one 
Chao, chao.